Yo, how's it going, guys? It's your Lord and Savior back. Did you guys have a good week? I'm hoping everything's doing great for you. Now, we got a lot of stuff to fix because, let's face it, winter's coming and everything's already exploding in my face, so we got to make sure that's working. And we got a new town that just got built in the last episode, so let's jump right in and just see what we can do. As, uh, yeah, we got a lot to fix. As we got this new town that uh, needed emergency power, but they should be wired up and ready to go. Um, let me double check. That's good, but since it's winter time, well, you guys aren't using too much power right now, so that might be fine. Um, what we need to do is start doubling up some of these lines. That way there's a f extra fail safe in the event one breaks. So let's, let's double up the lines here. And then we'll make an extra, extra junction out here. And then this line goes down here already, so... And then we'll double up here. That way, if one line breaks, there should statistically be a circuit breaker to continue, unless, you know, it breaks at, like, a junction point or something. Let's add another junction point here and here, just to be safe. Okay, there we go. Um, there we go. That one's just going straight off. Uh, hopefully that doesn't break at all. <laughs> one could pray. Um, that looks like that's a mess over there I need to fix sometime. All right, this town's going up. It shouldn't have any issues with cables, but just in case, let's uh, double up the lines going to town. And same here, we'll double up the lines going to town. There we go. Internal town's good. Wiring looks good. Um, this town, it's not going to use much electricity yet, so it's going to have live lines. This line's good. Okay, you guys. What is going on here? Um, let's add another line set here. And you guys are breaking off there. That's fine. Electrical lines are coming down here. Um, once again, we'll... Double up the lines coming in. And we'll add some junctions right here. In the event, everything wants to shit the fan on us. We'll have an extra line or two to be back up. And then down here needs another line. So, and with another junction here. Okay. Hopefully, once I start this, nothing explodes. <laughs> Let's go. So... These guys are getting electricity. They should be fairly happy. Um, any research points sitting around? Nope, no research points, so we can wait on that. Do these guys have no electricity going to them? No, they have electricity. Are they just not getting enough, maybe? No, you guys are getting fairly good. Uh-oh. It's very cold. Oh, no. What lines are going bad? Or is just the system just being the system? Uh-oh. Hold on. What do I need to start adding, like, big lines in as well as fail safes? Double up those lines. Um, how about these guys? These guys need double lines. Ah, oh, we don't even have the money. All right, we'll wait for the rest of the day and pray nothing breaks during peak hours in a bit. Okay, somehow we survived. Somehow. Uh, <laughs> so we have an unpowered block somewhere. Um, Okay, this town just expanded. So let's add some lines here. 
And since that one looks like an edge of a town, let's add this to the network. That way, in the event of catastrophic failure, we have lines. <laughs> we have lines, all right. So let's double up the network over here. Let me see. How much power is this line running? It's running 38. So the, this town's not running a lot, so that's actually not even anywhere near the capacity. So I guess we're fine for there. I'm probably famous last words, but who knows? Low load lines are vulnerable to ice formations. We're good. You know, we're at the end of day 37, so. As long as we survive another 13 days, we should be safe, right? <laughs> so let's check our research. What do we got here? Um, you know, we're making good money right now. Do I want to actually get extra money? Mm, careful expansion. Increased power output of all the plants, which means I don't need extra plants. Um, do I want to triple the capacity of lines in case they go crazy? Yeah, let's wait another day. This place is, uh, this biomass plant's about to go bonkers soon. This biomass plant's good. So, yeah, when this one's going crazy, this one's outputting extra. We have batteries all over the place in the event one goes out, so that's good. We have unpowered, two unpowered, three unpowered blocks right now. So. So that powers that. This part of town has no power. Ah, yeah, because it's a, a nice little uh, <laughs> cul-de-sac right there. All right, so everything's powered up. Uh, what's the capacity on these lines looking? 13. So that looks like it should work. Um, we're about to lose a biomass plant in a few hours. So hopefully while it's down, the batteries will keep up because I'm pretty sure it's that one that's almost dead over there. So let's go through the day. Okay, the batteries barely got hit. Okay, so I need to start building a th another uh, area because uh, things are going crazy. So let's uh, s let's start making another advanced substation over here, and we'll put like way out here where like nothing could be of a bother. And. We'll hook this up here. Boom. And uh, we'll have a line network here going out this way. And then on the other end, we'll hook you guys up here to this side of the power grid. And then we'll expand the lines here because I'm. I'm uh, it doesn't look good, but it's more practical than not running these extra junctions as a backup. All right. Those lines are in. Um, let's light up this road here. Okay. So it's not going to draw anything now, but once those uh, systems go down, it's going to have a lot of backup coming in. Oh no, something broke up there. Actually, a few things broke. Oh no. We need junctions. Boom. There we go. We need more junctions. Where'd the line break? Oh my god. In the places I can't prep. Don't break, don't break. Okay, we're good.
Let's add another junction out here. These lines are being like overdrawn way too much. There we go. There we go. Electrical flow is back to normal. Oh, jeez. <sighs> Even all the, all these extra like power ups, it's going crazy. So let's add high capacity lines because I, we need this right now because these lines are being overrun. Cities run 10, which means that station should be enough. This runs 83, so 75. 75, and this one's running as a backup. So this one, overload policy shut down for an hour. Done. Uh, this one, since we have multiple lines of entry for the power sources, it should be good to shut down these like for an hour if you know, need be. And then this one can take over the lines during that time frame. Looks like we need some more lines down here for now in case things spawn. Um, nothing's unpowered, that's good. Uh, now our, everything's good, all right. We have no unmet demand, which is good. So let's push through the day and pray nothing explodes again. There we go. They're kicking in. This extra right there was perfect. And we got a new, new town block being spawned here. Um, there we go. That one's been powered. This one's still running well because the substation can handle how much? 75? Yeah. I, I'm pretty sure I can handle that entire city because it's not getting big for this. This setup right here can handle that whole city. And we have like a solar panel that happens like part of the day. This town's running 19. This town is huge. This biomass plant is at capacity. This one's getting close. Um, even though I hooked this one into the power grid over here. Um, how's this one going? This biomass is at capacity. Mm, I need to add another biomass in. And while that's priming up, we'll keep you at this corner back here. There we go. There. We have a second biomass plant up there. To make up for any issues later, we have this advanced substation here. Um, let's add it. Okay, this one already has a shutdown policy. My concern is this one low wire right here. If it overloads, let's, let's double up all the way here and add a new junction point. Okay. There we go. Uh oh. Where's the new city at? Okay, number five's down here. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. This is actually a really good setup because I can put an advanced substation right here, right outside the excretes of town. And it can uh, be powered by, actually, if I put it right here, it's powered by both lines. Boom. And then we'll add another junction point right here. Done. And then for now, we'll just have two lines going off of this thing. And then it runs straight through the center of town. Done. And that runs off both networks. So that's survivable. Uh oh, we got a town that no longer power up here either. Well, it's not getting powered. Okay, so let's just hook up the streets right here. Done. That gets power. I think we're good. Wait, there's a research I can pay three for. Oh yes, reducing power demand three percent. 
residential buildings create their own solar power. <gasps> oh, okay. If they're reducing power demands, the lines won't break as much, but I'll probably be losing money. Uh, you know, that's fine. That's fine. I'm not, I'm not in a desperate need for money right now, so we'll hook that up. Which means the lines might not be tensed as much. Electrolysis. A small loophole in the way of taxation works in uh, <laughs> Latola uh, has made it very profitable for, to produce hydrogen. A shipment containing electrolysis equipment has been delivered to one of its residents. Hmm. These substations are getting near max, but I have that on the grid. So... That biomass plant's max, that biomass plant's max. This biomass plant is maxed. Okay, so it's running this entire power grid now and locally. So let's add another biomass <laughs> burner into this mix. Because yeah, we're at that point where we're gonna need a lot. So let's just add two more back here next to each other. And they both run the same line network. There we go. Okay. And then we have a new city block that needs power down here. And we have another city block somewhere that needs power. Okay, there we go. Um, where else is, where is the other place needing electricity? Am I just blind? Ah, no, it's right here. Okay. I answered my own question about how blind am I? Very, evidently. Very. <laughs> so we have eight days to go. The profitability is skyrocketing. Efficiency is not that great. Okay. So uh, the shorter paths between substations to your consumers, the better. If you reach 90% efficiency, you'll get a five star rating. Okay. Yeah, that's not happening right now because What broke? Significantly high power demand. Well, let's hope that all this extra power I have pumped into this town will be enough. But I might have to double these lines just in case. You know, that's actually not hurting my network as much. I'm gonna live with that. And upgrade generators for more outputs. Nah. Hmm. I think I should be good for now. We'll just save the uh, research points. Okay, um, transmission efficiency is 89%. <laughs> We're slowly getting there, yay. We have a house that's eating up the power grid in the town, but that's fine. One of the biomass burners are going down, but I added two to the network, so that should keep that under the control. We got some houses needing power so that's powered so that's powered and where's your new city block okay that's powered this one's still on the power up so our, net our network is actually running extremely efficient right now. <sighs> this one biomass burner is probably due for maintenance because it's like wanting to explode. But I think, uh, but if I, I can't take that down yet. Actually, no, I probably can. Go into maintenance, dude. 
Um, perform maintenance right now. And that shouldn't hurt anything because we have enough biomass burners to handle the entire shenanigans of these lines. All right, five days to go and our efficiency is still horrible, but we're making good bank now. So let's start lobbying maybe. Or efficiency. No, these are these lower their costs. So, um, yeah, um, let's start pumping up the amount of money I make just in case I need a catastrophic uh, reset anytime soon. All right, let's see. We got a city block that needs power. We'll get some junction lines there. All right. No more unpowered places. Great. Uh huh. Nothing's breaking. I pray it stays that way. I think we're actually in a good spot to uh, survive the last four days. I'm pretty sure we're actually in a great setup right now. We'll have to you know, take everything we've learned and move it forward, but for now, everything's running smoothly, but I'm pretty sure something's going to break soon. I'm just waiting. Like, it's the last few days. It's got to break. Something's got to break somewhere. I mean, call me cynical if, if you like, but I tend to believe uh, the game can't be this nice to me. <laughs> There's got to be an issue somewhere. I'm, my, my power grid's double the demand right now, so we're good there. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I think this thing's being pushed to capacity soon. Yeah, that's a basic substation. I need to update that. So let's get rid of this basic boy. They're not going to be happy that they lost power, but they'll get it back in, in, a, in a minute. They're not going to be happy, but we're going to move this a uh, little more away from town now. So... And we're going to hook these lines up. There. Everything's hooked back up. Um, smart meters to make more money. Because right now, I do not trust this game not to blow up and me not needing this million dollars. So this substation's maxing out. But I have that. I still have that one backed up. And then we have another substation right here. To back that up. That one's running fine. How's everything up here? This one's running crazy. But that one's still on backup. This biomass plant's in area max, but that one's backing that up. How's this town looking? This town's running 20, but that substation can, run, can handle all that. All right. Time to run through another setup. Hey, look at that. Oh, 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 no. I moved. I goofed. I goofed. I goofed. I goofed big time. <laughs> I missed one line right there. I goofed. I big dum dum. Uh, yeah, another junkyard point, please. I goofed big time. <laughs> Famous last words. I knew something was going to break. I knew. Like, I absolutely knew something was going to break. Like, there was no way I was going to be that lucky and not have something break on me. I was like, absolutely no way. I predicted it, guys. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I completely goofed. I had one wire handling an entire city block. Hey, we did it. All 50 days. 211,053 points. I don't think that's the max, but at least we lasted every day. We've invested a lot of money, and the bank has a lot of money too. So we get 10% of the money, so if I can make a lot of money... Oh, if I make a lot of money, I can make a lot of points. So yeah, we're gonna have to figure out, like, optimize ways to make a lot of money, guys. 
So we're at an interesting standstill right now. So, um, no, I'm pretty sure that's not a good score. So let, let's go back to save and exit. And we're gonna go back to that main menu. We're gonna figure out, so we're in the main campaign. We have finished Jacobstad. Um, so yeah, we're, I'm only like 83 off, so that's not bad. So here are the options. Do we, should we continue on to uh, Vajil? Or do we up the difficulty of Jacobstad? What do you guys think? Should we move on to the next town, learn that town? Or should we uh, continue staying here and maybe try high energy mode? Or uh, try to learn more optimized strategies for the high score? Uh, just let me know in the comments below. But I think we're gonna call it a sesh here for once. And um, as always, if uh, you like what you like, hit the like. If you dislike it, slam that thumbs down. Um, but uh, remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell, know when the next episode's out. But uh, definitely, uh, if you guys have any uh, comments or concerns, let me know in the comments. You guys have a nice one, and I'll see you in the next one.